Sony Picture Profiles. How do they work? What do they do? With these presets you can fine tune how your camera captures contrast and colors and this will allow you more or less grading control in post-production. Each preset allows you to change the gamma, the color mode and various other settings that your video footage will be captured with. Now Sony has a useful online guide about these settings. I will try to translate some of this tech speak into understandable practical language but you can find the link to this guide in the description and would advise that you give it a read through. Now what about all these other settings? Well most important is the recent function. If you want to undo changes just use this. You can change any of these parameters when you exit the menu, it saves it under that picture profile. There we go. So, let's look at them all one by one. Black level. That determines the black point in the footage. Is it black and dark or more grey? So obviously, minus makes it more grey, plus makes it deeper, richer black. What about black gamma? This affects the contrast in the dark tones. The range is the amount of darker tones that will be affected by changing the level. Level affects how much the curve will move either up or down. Minus 7 making them lighter and plus 7 making it darker. Knee, this one is a slightly complicated one to use. It basically affects your highlights. It's best to rather leave it on auto to avoid grays, white, or severely clipped and blown out highlights. Saturation, well, that does what it says. Affects the saturation of colors in the shot. Color phase, this is an interesting one as well. It affects the overall hue. Plus 7 makes it reddish. Minus 7 makes it greenish. You can use this if you struggle to color match cameras. Fiddle with the color phases to sort of match the colors straight off the chip. Color depth. Whoa, that looks complicated. Basically what this does is it can make your colors pop slightly more. So you can make your reds more or less red. And the same for all the other colors. You can fine tweak them individually. Detail settings. This affects the apparent sharpness in your footage. It's best to leave this at the default settings for a specific picture profile. But if you want to tinker with it, I would suggest to again look at Sony's guide because that explains these settings really well. Now, which of these picture profiles are the best to use? I would suggest using PP5 if you're not planning to do a lot of post-production or you don't need to do a lot of grading but would still like some leeway in post. Remember, that's the one that uses the Kimni 1 gamma curve combined with the cinema color mode. Or you can try PP8 if you want more control on your footage and you want to apply specific grading or play with the footage afterwards in post. Remember that's the one that uses SLOC3 combined with the Eskimut 3.kini color mode. Or just try PP10, the pseudo HDR mode for sort of middle of the road results without a lot of grading needed. Now if you want to take your picture profiles further I would suggest that you try and find out or figure out a read up about your favorite cinematographers and what prof picture profiles they're using and the combinations they're using. Use that as a start point, experiment, change settings till you find your sweet spot and favorite combination. I hope this video will help you to get more out of your Sony camera. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe.